How's it going guys? My name is Mr. Boss Luan. I want to talk about some of the spots that I have just figured out on the map Vertigo. Now some of you know, might know these, some of you might not, so there are some interesting ones. Anyways, we are starting off on the ISA side and that is important because there are a few key spots right off of this spawn. So as soon as you spawn in, there's going to be a room to your left. Now this little area right here, there's nothing particularly interesting about this spot other than I'm giving it a full on code red booster alert this is total booster alert it's on a different level than every other portion of the map it's got this little room right here that guards you with a a nice little pipe that goes to the center very concealed no one goes in there i'm putting a full-on code red booster alert for that room anyways moving on you can go a little bit past that room and you can look at this little air conditioning like vent if you hop on this and hop on another level above, it gives you a great view of the little, um, you know, airport terminal helipad entry right here. And it also gives you a good view into their spawn in case the spawns happen to flip. So, pretty cool right there. Now, if you want to get into the booster area, but you don't choose to use the ladders, you can go right off of that little platform right there and do a dolphin dive right onto this little area. You don't even have to dolphin dive. You can uh, do a regular jump if you want. I typically like to start on this little box and uh, you just get a running head start, jump right at the edge and you can make it on there. That's pretty convenient, I would say so. Uh, so those are the three spots for that area. Let's get on to some other spots. So what you can see right here, this is one of the main ladders. This is one of like two or three ladders in this game that you can actually jump on. Now uh, you can go up that or you can try to go back down these windows like so. So I'm gonna break out these windows and uh, this is a little bit tricky. So if you jump full sprint across, you're not gonna, you're gonna jump too far. You're gonna jump across. Uh, same thing with that. You can jump from those to those. Uh, but if you wanna get inside, this is what you wanna do. You wanna walk as close as you can off the edge and then fall and then press A as you're falling and you'll be able to jump from there to there and vice versa. Now we can do it again. You can jump and this time wait a little bit and uh, happen to jump on there as well. So you gotta be careful that you don't over jump or you don't under jump or else you will definitely lose your life. Now in the same area, this one's a little bit more obvious, but maybe you don't know. There's this little passageway right here. This way is a very highly congested area. Shock charges, bouncing beddies all throughout this room. You can take this little side path, be careful not to fall off, and flank them really easily. That's one thing I like to do. So in this back room right here, you can see uh, that it is also, this is on the other spawn. Now, if you break these windows right here, you can actually jump up on these two platforms and you're right back to where you were. Now you can use this to avoid fire or if you want to sneak into an enemy spawn, you can do that as well. Place down some bouncing beddies, shock charges, whatever. Now something unique about this room that I've just figured out, uh, there are these open windows right here. <laughs> I mean, just showing you what you can do with it again. Uh, and you can look right down this alley anyways. But anyways, going back to that room, you can either jump through those windows right here or you can look at the ones that have blinds. Now you can shoot out the glass, but what's interesting enough about that is that you can see that the glass is gone, yet you are unable to jump through that. You can do whatever you want. You can't run through it. Uh, for whatever reason, you can't do it. Uh, it just won't let you go through it. So I thought that was pretty interesting, and hopefully you guys uh, enjoyed some of these spots. If you did, I would appreciate a like on the video. It really helps me out, guys. Uh, I love it when you guys like, and if you're new, subscribe. That would be awesome as well. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care, and of course, I'll see you guys in the next video.